Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. I'm Andrew O'Toole, and today we'll be having a look at this coming Saturday's meeting here at Fanny Bay, which will be the 11th of December. This meeting is the second of three successive Saturday fixtures in Darwin in the lead up to Christmas. And like last week, the fields for this week are again intriguing, with some 38 acceptors down to do battle. The fourth heat of the Lightning Wet Season Series will be race three on the card. And after three heats, there is keen competition for points as trainers chase the elusive spot in the $40,000 final on Australia Day. The first race gets underway at 2.57 p.m., with the last time to go at 5.20 p.m. The opener is the Darwin Racing Handicap. It's over 1,300 metres for the benchmark 54 gallopers. And in the opener, my numbers are 2, 3 and 1. Didn't find the card very easy, I can tell you, uh, on Saturday, but that's not unusual for me. But in the first, going here with 2, 3 and 1. Number 2 on top, against the Tide, Stan Sakos for Emma Steele. Emma's been having a pretty good run uh, just lately with her little team. And against the Tide, uh, way back in grade. Last start uh, was over 1,600 metres in Benchmark 76 company. Back to the Benchmark 54 and, of course, dropping in trip. But um, I'm just... Um, uh, heartened by that drop in grade from uh, a high grade race way back to this benchmark 54. Prior to that it had run two good seconds in 0 to 70 and 0 to 64 grades so certainly up to winning a race like this. Number two against the tide prepared to uh, put it on top. Head of number two Mr Boom Jangles this is his trip 1300 metres he's won uh, four times over the journey and had four seconds as well. Gary Lafoe trains Paul Shires rides his last start effort was behind Robe to Fate um, looks a pretty smart type, but robe to fate. And uh, Mr. Boom Jangles finished fourth on that occasion on the 20th of November, beaten three lengths, going up in trip for this uh, uh, assignment should be right up his alley. And then for third, number one, Taciturn, always to be considered in a race of this nature, was a winner two starts back over a mile. Uh, last time out down the track behind stable mate Captain Hedewick over the same trip. Dropping back uh, to the 1300 metres, probably shouldn't worry the source that has won twice from nine starts at 1300. In the first, my numbers are two, three, and one. The second's the TRT off the track handicap. It's over 1,200 metres for the zero to 64 gallopers. Only a small field here of half a dozen to go around, and my numbers are one, two, and five. Arguably one of the most informed horses in the top end is number one, Sweet Chevelle. Trained by Joe Banks. Joe's doing a really good job with uh, Sweet Chevelle, one of only two or three she has in work at present. And Stan Sakos takes the mount. He won on the horse last time out. That was the horse's third successive win. So went from a maiden to a 58 to a class two, now to a 64, slightly up in grade and up a kilo in weight for that last start win. But it's just racing so well, uh, looks the one to beat on paper. In for second, another informed horse, number two overruled. Adam Nichols and Emma Steele, uh, the combination. Uh, put two together in uh, mid-October and early November and then last time out was a very good second to uh, Bar Gem. Of course Bar Gem uh, won on uh, Normie Bracken's uh, last uh, day as a trainer. Of course uh, Norm trained uh, Bar Gem so that was a memorable day but overall racing well overall and should be right in the mix here. And then for third number five, Tribler. Gary Clark, Sonia Wiseman, the combo. Good second last time to Robe to Fate. Going up a little bit in grade but once again a race that it can figure in. In the second, one, two, and five. The third's the bet 365, a Lightning Series Trobus handicap, another of the heats in the Lightning Series. 20,000 up for grabs here, 1,200 metres, and it's a class two event uh, for uh, these uh, young gallopers. My numbers here are one, three, and two. Going well, number one from the Never Never, uh, trained by Tommy Logan, Sonia Wiseman rides. Put back-to-back uh, -back wins together in uh, November. And then last week here was a very good second, I thought, behind uh, a really smart sprinter in Bell's Banner. Bell's Banner has um, certainly um, hit the ground running here in Darwin. Two starts, two wins. But from the Never Never was beaten 3.3 lengths the other day, but never stopped trying. That was 1,000 metres up to the 1,200. Uh, Tommy not afraid to uh, back from the Never Never up uh, here uh, a week after its last start but um, he wouldn't be doing it if he wasn't happy with his charge so I've got it on top number one from the Never Never to beat number three grand final the fresh runner here trained by Pat Johnson uh, Pat had a winner of course last week with Al Sicario and grand final trialed here uh, a couple of weeks ago and trialed pretty nicely too I thought on that occasion won the trial Vanessa Arnott was aboard in the trial she rides here on uh, Saturday so I've got it in the mix uh, number three, grand final, and then for third, number two, New Roman. It's had just the three starts in Darwin, came out of the tried horse sale back at carnival time. Kerry Petrick uh, trains, Casey Hunter aboard. 
like the barrier, drawn barrier one, I think it should be able to um, kick up and uh, maintain a good position in the run here. Might uh, trail maybe from the Never Never, who goes pretty quick. Uh, but I just think, um, judged on its run, two starts back where it finished second to overruled, must be uh, allowed another chance here, New Roman. So my numbers in the third are one, three and two. The fourth is the Sky Racing Handicap, uh, our highest grade race of the day. It's a zero to 70. This one over the 1100 metres and my numbers here are one, four and five. Another horse backing up from last Saturday is number one, Cyclone Knight, trained by Gary Lafoe, Paul Shires aboard. It was a better run last time, no doubt. Ran second to Masterati, beaten half a length. Really hit the, ground, uh, hit the line rather strongly. It was 1100 uh, last week in Benchmark 76 Company. 1100 again, slightly down in grade. Uh, up in weight, four kilos more to carry this week, Cyclonite. But just um, like the way that it finished off last week and I think can uh, get the chocolates here. So number one on top. To beat number four, Dizzy Miss Lizzie, trained by Gary Clark, Jared Todd aboard. Uh, last started here in fourth to Syncline on the 20th of November. Uh, racing consistently, this mare, and uh, sure to be in the mix here. And in for third, I'm going to give him another chance, number five, Vunavalu. He's been disappointing his last two, but um, I'm thinking from the, the seven draw, the widest gate here, that Wayne Davis might punch him out to the lead. He's a better horse when he leads. He, he takes some running down. Just lately, he's been getting uh, off the pace and not finishing off. So I'm prepared to allow him another chance here. In the fourth, the numbers of one, four, and five. And our last, the Bet365 Protest Promise Handicap. Yep, we don't have any of those, protests that is. This over a thousand metres, zero to 58 uh, grade, and a tricky little race to finish the last. My numbers here are three, two, and one. Jet Jackson for me, number three. First up in the top end, trained by uh, Mark Nyan. Of course, we all know what a good trainer Mark is, and Sonia Wiseman takes the mound here on Jet Jackson. Hasn't raced since the 28th of September in Kilmore, so it's a newcomer, as I mentioned, to the top end, but I did see it trial. Uh, just a, a matter of two or three weeks ago. Finished third in the trial behind grand final and expert witness and I just like the way it, uh, it went about its business, Jet Jackson. Could uh, be very hard to beat here first up on the track uh, number three. To beat number two, Hatton Man, Paul Denton visiting from Alice Springs, takes them out here for Tayan Halter. Uh, fourth here just last Saturday, El Sicario was a pretty good run. Uh, and that was its first up effort since cup time. So second up here, uh, if it handles the backup, should be right uh, in the party here. And then for third, another newcomer to Darwin is number one, Razu. Gary Clark trains, Jared Todd uh, rides. This horse had um, uh, some decent synthetic form in uh, Victoria. Uh, one on the synthetic at Ballarat. It's only lightly raced, the four-year-old by Zustar. Uh, nine starts for a win and a second. So I uh, have to include that uh, being from the uh, leading stable of Gary Clark. So numbers in the last are three, two and one. Best bet comes up in race three, number one from the Never Never. Race three, number one, he's racing well from the Never Never. Uh, as I say, never stopped trying last week behind the very smart Bell's banner. And uh, as long as he handles the backup, and I'm sure he will, he'll be hard to beat. While the best roughie is in race four, probably won't be that rough either in, in a tricky little affair. Race four, number two, Patria. Race four, number two, Patria. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk. Uh, uh, we'll be back next uh, Saturday for our last meeting before uh, Christmas. And that, of course, will be the 18th of December. We then have a break of a fortnight until we come back and kick uh, 2022 off on New Year's Day, the 1st of January. So until next week, good luck and good punting.